Thank you. Thank you, President. And uh, I take this opportunity to salute uh, the, my colleague panelists and, and the ministers and uh, all the African countries and uh, friends of Africa that are represented here. And I would like also to heartfully thank Ethiopia for hosting us, because this is the first time that I take the floor uh, in, in this uh, excellent gathering. Um, and I would also like to thank AMSEN uh, for, I would say, its critical role as the only gathering place for African uh, environment ministers to converge their views. And I would like just to say uh, at this uh, moment and gesture, and, and particularly that we uh, rarely have the opportunity to meet, indeed, as it was highlighted, but I think there are few uh, opportunities around the year where we meet uh, and we make advance on some very important issues. For example, number one, I think if you've heard from uh, our colleagues from South Africa, from Egypt, from Senegal, uh, from Kenya, that I think um, we all agree now as a continent on the financing areas and priorities, energy poverty, access, integration of markets, climate resilience, protection of biodiversity, and the fact that we need specific mature, maturing instruments for uh, upcoming technologies that are important for climate. Uh, the excellent role that AMSEN has played over the last few years for us is that we also agree that climate financing should not weaken further our debt position. We, every country is uh, struggling with, uh, especially with uh, the, the sequences of crisis that the world has faced. Um, and I think there, there is an interesting uh, consensus that is that I hear emerging from the discussions that we are having in AMSEN is related to how we view grants and how we view aid. Today, aid and grant financing is not necessarily bad. It helps us leverage and better use uh, that grant financing to leverage other forms of financing. And I think the third area where we start to see an emerging consensus and we I, I'm, I'm actually very grateful for multiple initiatives like uh, uh, the, the initiative of the three basins uh, Congo have been uh, been uh, an excellent one where we have and Morocco had the privilege of uh, of being uh, uh, one of the founding partners of the three initiatives I think today we have the mechanisms we have benchmarks African benchmarks that are helping us to ensure that when it comes to kickstarting the process of natural capital accounting, we have those initiatives there. And I also will take this opportunity to congratulate Gabon for its debt nature transaction that it's announced this week. That's another uh, great benchmark that we have uh, within Africa. So carbon markets, taxation uh, are definitely areas that we are pushing um, in various parts of Africa, we need to do, of course, a better job in converging those mechanisms and making sure that we are making the best out of uh, the various mechanisms and instruments that the world and the continent is, is offering us. A last point, AMSEN has also taught us that we are aware that we should do a better job in creating the synergies between the different conventions, biodiversity and climate being uh, two examples, and doing a better job in, in converging our views as environment ministers, as energy ministers, with finance ministers and the financial community. And with that, I, I will finish by saying that when we want to really scale up and de-risk investments, why we are thinking about the multiple opportunities that we will have to meet in the next few months. We have Vancouver, we have Brazzaville, we have uh, the COP28 in Dubai, of course. Uh, there's also another meeting, the annual assembly of the IMF and the World Bank in Marrakesh in October, where 
Morocco is actually hoping that in addition to rethinking uh, the, the structuring or, or, or the rethinking how the Bretton Woods institution can rise up to the challenge of the 21st century, including, of course, the, the triple planetary challenges that we are facing, that it will be definitely an opportunity for environment ministers and, climate and, and, and finance ministers to action, to make some very actionable solutions relevant for Africa. Thank you very much.